Hey everybody and welcome to Indie Direct. We look nothing but new and obscure titles. Today we're looking at a roguelite action RPG, Ashen Forest. Now this game has a focus on boss rush, so you're not going to be fighting a lot of small enemies. Instead you're actually going to be fighting a lot of smaller bosses up until you get to the big boss. Which won't take you long, it'll probably take you about 15 to 20 minutes if that to be honest. But there are multiple playthroughs that you are going to have to go through till you actually get the final ending. And the fun thing about that is, there are three different characters that you can go through, which all have their own types of endings, so there's definitely a lot of replayability to this game. But about those three characters, they are your standard roguelike ones. You have your knight, your mage, and your gunslinger. Each, of course, having their own different type of play styles with their own special abilities. And me, being the basic person I am, I've always picked the knight, so that's where you're going to see most of this footage. And of course, with this being a roguelike, you're going to see your RNGs, which are not as severe as normal roguelike games. But this game does have your shops, your bosses, and your secret locations that you can go and do. Which, of course, is what you'd want to do through your first playthrough in the game, just so you can find the items that you need to fight the final boss, because they are really recommended for that first playthrough. After that first playthrough is done, you can go back and play again with that same character. Now having more levels, you can talk to the priest to level up yourself in strength, health, stamina, anything that you need to start your next playthrough. Since Ashen Forest focuses on boss rush, there are plenty of bosses that you will play against, all with very unique mechanics and very different fighting skills, which never makes one boss feel like the other. And of course, when you go through the playthroughs, you are going to fight on multiple times, but for the multiple times that I have fought the bosses, I've never really felt like the bosses got old or stale. It still seemed to be fresh and new. And with three different characters with three different fighting styles, you're always going to have to switch up your tactics, so it's almost like going through three different games. Now, on to graphics and sound design, you can see that this game is in black and white, and with that, with the animations and the pixel art to it, it is beautiful in an artistic standpoint, and I love it. Sound design in itself is a treat. The sound effects are not overbearing or annoying, and the music that accompanies with this game is wonderful. It matches the tone perfectly, and altogether very nice on the ears. Now this game is currently in early access, which is a little confusing to me because this does feel like a fully polished game, which is really a good thing because I know there is this stigmatism towards early access games with people to where it's, oh, they'll never have it finished or, oh, it's too buggy, but already you have a game that feels like a finished product and I'm really interested to know what they're going to be adding to this because in the state the game is right now it would more or less feel like an add-on or a DLC to the game more than it being fixed or needing to be finished. But with all that said if you are a roguelike fan this is one game that you need to look at and definitely play. For seven dollars you're getting more than what you paid for honestly and apparently more to come with it still being in early access but i'm going to leave the game down below guys if you do pick it up definitely leave a comment down below and tell me what you thought of it and leave a like if you like the video guys lets us know if we're doing something right subscribe if you want to see new games every week and i'll catch you guys in the next video have fun